sanctioned in the central heartland of Florida. We are here with another CFL SmackDown Smash 4 edition. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We are starting off a nice weekly here. Um, thanks for tuning in, Polarity GG. Uh, I like to say that this place is the medium between marksmanship and mastery because people come here to aim high and then become masters of the game. I like that, man. What's going on? I'm Schrader, and I am joined by my friend Aeon. That's right, man. Glad to be here. My first time commentating. Yeah, today. it's going to oh, be fun. This is going to be hype for me. I'm so excited. So yeah. excited to be here right now. So I know these guys are uh, off stream right now, are uh, playing. We don't see anything on our screen quite yet. I'm not sure. It's the same with you guys at home. As if you know, we don't have anything on our screen right now. All right, cool. We'll, we'll fix that right now. <laughs> but you guys are watching this. I know Splat's playing. Yeah, so Splat and Jeff. Winners round two. I like that. That means these guys. Uh, that means uh, these guys both had buys. So uh, yeah, Splat uh, doing pretty good at the Arcadian. Jeff, old timer. Uh, you know, used to be PR himself. Oh yeah. Uh, haven't seen him out here in a while, so it's great to see him here. It's definitely nice to see these returning players come back and really show the community. Oh yeah, they still got it. Yeah. Yeah, and these guys are also playing Sonic and Ness, two characters that were really pushed early on in the meta of this game. Uh, I love that too. Uh, but, you know, you have more of like an old school, new school people kind of persona going on right here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I like the dynamic too because Splat is, um, he, he's the new school, right? But you yeah. don't see a lot of new guys playing Ness. No, um, no, no, not really. Most people opt to just pick more high tiers and top tiers and all that stuff for the Start with Ness. It's yeah. pretty solid. It's pretty brief. Definitely. So I know most of you guys that are watching right now are probably long-time polarity watchers. But in general, I want you to think about this earlier on as we start going into the matches today. One thing that everybody in our region is pretty good at is uh, fundamental patience. Oh. Uh, in general, we're really tight-knit here. We're like a giant giant, uh, almost like a frat, you know, in a way, but we're also uh, kind of like a click, but everyone's in a click. Everyone's yeah. really cool with each other here because we really want to push everybody. So you're going to see more patient play. These guys aren't really going in. They're just waiting slowly. Yeah, wait for that punish, man. Somebody whiffs, boom, there comes that punish. At yeah. least we hope so. And that's all about kind of feeling out the match, right? You yeah. want to slowly feel it out. You want to see what's going on with everybody, what are their habits, and then try to punish when you can. Right yeah. there, 2D Jeff missing that punish. But he's going to try to jump into action here. Gets the throw down, throw him off the stage. And I do like that because you're dealing with Ness, right? Oh, oh you yeah. want to send him at that low angle, making recovery a little bit harder. He yeah. has to use that uppie. Oh, yeah, even that angle, perhaps you could even intercept his recovery. Mm -hmm. Boom, that's a free kill right there. Yeah. I always see that PK Thunder just uh, making it, make it, make it hard for Jeff to land right there. Yeah. Now he's back on the ground. Ooh. He's definitely on the prowl. That up smash won't kill Battlefield. Yeah. You know, that bigger that bigger blast box won't make it hard to kill. Yeah. And also, you got to remember, that's a deceptively not as strong up smash as you would expect it. Yeah. Because, it because it's such a, a risk, uh, and it doesn't even have that great range, you kind of expect it to be a lot more powerful. But yeah, with Battlefield, you know, killing off the top is not going to happen as early. But going on right here, that back throw is going to do a lot of percent. Yep, oh, not yeah. going to kill Good. quite yet either. Good but stage control. Just, yeah, exactly. Jeff abiding his time. It's right here. We might be around the percent for maybe another back throw. I don't, I'm not sure if up throw will kill quite yet. But we also could get a spin dash to near. Oh yeah, we also got oh Ooh. nice catch on the ledge. Yeah, right I shouldn't have counted. I shouldn't have counted spot out. Oh yeah, definitely. But then. Jeff answering right back with that forward smash, even in the stocks, 0-0 zero, zero once yeah. again. Absolutely. And that kind of goes back to the, the patient play that I was talking about, oh, yeah. how these guys getting a feel for each other, finding that one opening. And that's really important, especially in a game with only two stocks. You oh. kind, of, kind of imagine this like you're playing with rounds in a Street Fighter or something like that. Uh, <laughs> and these guys are cheesers. <laughs> this is the mind game. This is mental mind game. Look at, look at Spot's face right now. Serious. Totally serious. But then again, Jeff is uh, winning right now. And yeah. like Street Shark, he's always been patient from the very beginning. He's always been one to just be able to handle this. So he's going to handle this. He's going to just wait. Why not? Sonic, what do they say? They've been known for timeouts, <laughs> eh? That's true. <laughs> Sonic's known for them timeouts. 
Yeah, but this is it. also another... Okay, so like Sonic's one of the, his strengths is he's pretty elusive on getting grabbed. But if he gets grabbed, because he's such a like uh, hit-and-run character, Spotipus could like catch up instantly. Oh, yeah. So instead, you want to just kind of figure out your opponent and do that bait. Uh, I'm sorry, like a uh, hit and run game oh, yeah. as much as possible. So he's got like four or five hit and runs. So because of that, Splat's only got, what, 30%. But uh, we saw uh, you know, Jeff getting a lot of percent. We saw uh, actually uh, looking for a setup there. Uh, Splat that was trying to get, I think, uh, one of the first hits of PK Thunder yeah. into the PK Thunder 2. That would have been definitely deadly of these percents. Let's say Sonic with the speed, you know, he can definitely take advantage of that hit and run style. Mm -hmm. Get these hits when he wants to, then just boom, get back and reset neutral. All right, there is a grab. What's oh, Ooh, okay, okay. But not the initial hit, so not as powerful, but Good still percent, a lot of percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't, just not even 20% difference now. And Splat is rocking that Splat 2.0 tag. Oh, yeah, level up. I level see. up, exactly. Ooh, great patience coming up from Jeff. No, no, not to walk into that forward smash. Ooh, I love that little delay we saw. Kind of um, the reflector, a stall. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that threw me for a loop. Oh, yeah, definitely. Back throw. Yep. Get him off stage. stage. Yeah. Yep, you're right. Okay, is that back throw points? Wow, so Still close. Living. Still living. Good DI up hard. Yeah. One more though. Oh yeah, one more. That's that's probably. Or falling up air. Ooh, I love that to use a spring there. But Sly is on patrol. He's trying to look for something here. And he has good positioning. I do like how he's still playing patient. Hold down the center of the stage. Nair's not gonna kill, but that's so super close. And now he does have the advantage, very slight advantage, but we got 30 seconds left. Oh great roll. Yeah, I mean, I mean one one hit from like the noggin no. The that read. Helps. And that's all about finding that tempo like I was telling you about. It's just like, okay, here I am, here I am. Chase down. I know you're gonna retreat there. I'm gonna throw out this big gliding hitbox yeah, with that, that up smash. Canceled up smash. Yeah. Oh yeah, that means it even gonna slide even more. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the benefits of that. Alright, so I, I am not actually scheduled for commentary. Uh, Sinjiji 